What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today we're going to go over a little bit of market. This is a different type of video. It's a series, you know. I'm starting up a little series for you guys. Since you guys have been loving the market talk, loving pretty much any My Team talk I put out, I'm going to make this series, I'm not sure I'm going to call it, maybe like, um, I don't know, it's going to be a, a bunch of things. It's going to be talking about the market, talking about tokens, talking about a bunch of different things in my team, what you should do, how to make MT, how to make tokens, all that good stuff. So pretty much just going to talk about what's going on in my team. Maybe we'll just talk it um, a talk series or something. I don't know. We're just going to go over a bunch of things. As per usual, man, drop 20,000 in the comments. Like the vid, sub if you're a new or chance of winning 20,000 MT. Um, also, could give away some PSN codes. Just drop that like, man. Um, also, right after here, we're gonna we're gonna um, we're gonna do a live stream. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Not only are we gonna do a live stream, we're also gonna announce it before we start doing live on Twitter. So make sure to go hit up my Twitter as well. Um, but yeah, I want to talk about a couple things in this video. So right now, I have like no MT. I have the whole entire Rick Barry set done. Which we are about to finish this challenge. Honestly, I, I kind of played this challenge twice. I can't beat it. They keep scoring. I literally can't clamp them up. I don't know what to do. I'm going to have to try it on stream, I guess. But um, yeah, it's been pretty hard for me. And I don't know what to do, man. I've tried everything. I don't know. But right now, a couple things to talk about. So we got the token market open. Now, I do not think this is worth it at all. If you do pop these packs, you're on something because... These packs are straight doo, doo You're not going to pull realistically. You're not going to pull any of these cards. With that being said, I feel like it is a good time to pick up some of these cards considering... um, What's it called? Not a bad time to pick up these cards considering the fact that they're popping them now. In about a week or two, these cards will probably go back up in price because nobody uh, is not really going to pop them. Um, the token market update was a little overhyped. Not going to lie. Um, as you can see, I did get the two pink diamonds and new pink diamonds. I am saving my tokens. I would not spend all your tokens now if you were wondering. There's going to be another token market update in about a month. And right now, I really would not say... I really would say you shouldn't really get any of these opals yet. These pink diamonds are kind of stale. I do like Patrick Ewing, so I am a Knicks fan. But other than that, I really don't think there's anything valuable. Like, for instance, Isaiah Ryder's trash. Honestly, though, not going to lie to you. The Reggie Lewis is really good. The Paul Mills is really good. And so is the Brooke Lopez. Those are the three cars I think are amazing. Gax Silver Tony Parker, not really worth it. But also, I want to talk about another thing. Bro, online, the behind-the-back dribble is gone. So, I honestly haven't tested it out, but that's a big thing. I lose games because kids spam behind-the-back dribble and pull up for green. So, that's big. I'm not going to lose to a lot of kids like that. I literally lost a game when I was 10-0 to Tracy McGrady and Zach Levine because the kid knew how to do the behind-the-back so good. Like, he would do the behind-the-back, pull up in my face, green release every time, and I lost so many games because of that. I mean, I hate losing games in general, and losing like that off green releases that I can't cover and I have covered is ridiculous. So that's one thing I actually kind of hyped about, even though I do to it myself. Kind of hyped, I guess. Also L's for us, but not really L's, because it is going to fix our gameplay a lot. It's going to make us actual better 2K players, so that's good. Also, so right now. Right now, if you guys have Ben Simmons, I heard a lot of stuff. What should I do with Ben Simmons? Right now, he's actually kind of expensive. I would go ahead and sell. He's going to just keep dropping. We're going to have sick content either tomorrow or the next day. So right now, I would sell your Ben Simmons. Also, if you do have some players from the spotlight, I'm going to have to say, try to get your spotlights done and sell ASAP because I do not trust any of these cards on the auction. All these spotlight challenges are actually kind of cheap. They're low-key getting cheaper and cheaper, and if they're low-key getting cheaper and cheaper, it makes me think we might have spotlight packs very soon, so... Oh, uh, wow, that's just lag. So we might have spotlight packs very soon, which is something to think about. If spotlight super packs do drop, we are going to see a huge market crash, and it's going to be crazy. Now, also, with this Prime Przingis, it might be the best time to get them might be Friday. I have 500k on another account which I will be transferring over, trying to get this Kristaps. I need him to make my team perfect, and I mean perfect. If I get this Kristaps, we will destroy kids. On the stream today, we are going to be going over a ton of stuff, market sniping. We're going to be um, 
we're gonna do some spotlight challenge grinding pretty much mostly spotlight challenge grinding where we're gonna be answering a ton of market questions so please make sure you do pull up to the stream now this mystery player i feel like it reeks of either galaxy oval shack or galaxy oval colby we'll see though um they dropped the galaxy oval right allen maybe a galaxy oval reggie miller i don't know if he's gonna be in 2k but that would be sick let me know what you think it could be down below um also, man, these cards are all cheap. Honestly, you could sell them if you want. It's up to you. But right now, unfortunately, my diamond filter is ruined. Um, It's really hard to snipe on it. I've been scrolling through positions. I missed a couple snipes. But yeah, as you can see, man, all these cheap garbage legacy cards kind of destroyed my filter. Kind of upset about it. You could still get snipes considering there are moments cards. But I, I mean, actually... If you could set it and scroll to 19 something and have some people in your collection, this filter could be solid. It's just you might miss stuff because of the scrolling. But uh, yeah, it's still somewhat decent. I do have a lot of diamonds in my collection though, so that's the one problem. If you do buy Willis Reed, that is a lot of players off and Jamal Moshburn. Right now, I'm selling my Hakeem. I'm going to probably sell Hakeem, pick up Chris Stops, and go from there. Hopefully, I, I really want to use Chris Stops, have not used him. And then I'm probably going to get Bird. I'm really racking up my MT. Really, as you can see, my collection levels way up there too. I have so much I have clutter in my collections, which low key is really big because I really do need those cards. Um, and if I ever get in a jam, I could sell a ton of cards in my collection. So collector levels up there. It's nothing like shaking bakes, nothing like Carl stories, but it's pretty solid considering I didn't spend nearly as much as money as any of the big YouTubers. So um, pretty solid right now. This dime filter is low-key dry as hell today is a wednesday today kids are in school obviously so what do i like to do usually sniping bro not gonna lie like eight o'clock nine o'clock at night is usually really fire a lot of kids do play a lot of like kids overseas play during that time and it's a really really good time to snipe market's slower too so you could get bids on cards during the day it's really hard to bid on cards and actually get them for cheap like i've been trying to get bosh for so so long i mean i bid it on bosch at least 100 times and still haven't even got one that chris bosch card is filthy i need him in my lineup if i could have chris bosch at the four and critty at the the five with Giannis at the three my team would honestly be unstoppable with walt at the one and kobe diamond at the two i love kobe diamond he's freaking amazing but uh yeah right now kind of confused on what i should buy i do want to build the god squad i only have 20k mt right now like i said i have a ton of mt realistically but uh yeah right now what you should do what i'm talking about is honestly bro sit on the diamond filter for a couple hours let me know how it goes pretty much i've been trying to get some pink diamond snipes it's been really freaking dry and uh yeah it's really annoying i have a mellow to sell i have a ton of things to sell a lot of a lot of cards that you do want to that you have i would stack up on and sell like all the cards that you stacked up on i would honestly go ahead and sell it's kind of risky keeping them i have a uh, amethyst jordan waiting to sell there's so many things in this game that will keep you updated. Also, a quick way to get tokens right now is honestly just playing single player triple threat. That's probably the quickest way or all night triple threat. Um, it's pretty, pretty, pretty solid. Other than that, that's that Jordan for 16k is kind of a snipe, but I'm just gonna throw mine up for the same price. Um, let me think. So we got tokens. Um, honestly, who do you think the best token market is? I mean, who do you think the best token reward player is? Personally, I honestly really, really like the Reggie Lewis. He is definitely the best card for me. He plays so good. He's literally amazing, actually. Really respect that card. I'm happy they dropped him. I didn't even know Reggie Lewis was that good, but I guess he is. Really, really good card to use. If you do need a pink diamond and you need a shooting guard, get him. I was actually lacking at the shooting guard position. Slid him in in his debut. He dropped 25 online, so really really good card i would definitely recommend you guys do get him and try him out also galaxy with tony parker is actually not that good now considering they did get rid of the behind the back that's another thing i want to talk about so, so with, with the behind the back it makes people like tracy mcgrady and levine not as op as they used to be because every time i would verse a tracy or levine all they would do is behind the back cheese green release and i can't stand it so happy that's gone so happy that's out of the game even though it's going to ruin my gameplay, I'm probably going to suck without it. Still, interesting stuff to think about. If you have Wall Frazier, would actually be a good time to sell. But then again, he is out of packs very soon, and no one really pops those prime packs. So it is up to you. I have my Wall Frazier. He's my best point guard. I will never be selling this card ever. He is by far my best player I've ever had in the game besides Giannis. 
He is jump shot, is straight money. He could dunk, he could shoot, he could do everything. His clamps, Hall of Fame clamps as well. Um, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Other than that, man, let me know what you guys are doing in the comments, what you guys are searching for. Are you grinding tokens? Are you grinding spotlights? Are you grinding MT? Let me know. I'd like to know. And also, make sure to hit up my sponsor for MT, man. Everybody's been hitting it up, and they've been really reliable. So hit them up. Let me know how it goes. Use code BUGS at checkout. And yeah, that's really all I got. If you want me make a little, if you want me to make a certain video on something, let me know down below. I will definitely make a video for you guys. You guys are literally the base of me. Without you guys, I wouldn't be here. I would not be grinding. So thank you so much. Hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for more content. Peace.